Hey guys, welcome back to the week of our video lessons. So on Sunday we talked about praying, and today we're going to talk about um, Daniel and what can happen when he was praying to God even though it wasn't necessarily the best thing to do at the time. Daniel was a very important helper to King Darius in Babylon. And the king knew that David all loved God and he would pray to God three different times a day where everybody could see him. Because Daniel worked very hard, the king really liked him and made Daniel his most important helper. Some people were very angry with the king for Daniel putting Daniel over them and they thought of a way to get the king mad at him to try to get rid of him. You know what those guys did? They went to the king and said, King, don't you think everybody should be praying to you and to you only? And then if anybody else prays to anybody else but you, they get thrown to the lion's den? Now the king, who was very full of himself, thought this was a great idea, and he sent messengers all across the land to let everybody know of the new rule. Those angry men watched Daniel and wondered, would he agree to the new law and only pray to the king, or will he still pray to the god and get thrown in the lion's den? And they were just hoping that he'd, you know, trip up so they'd be able to get him in trouble. Now Daniel probably knew those angry men were watching, but he opened his window and went to pray to God like he always has done, as if nothing had changed. And guess what? Off those guys ran as fast as they could to tell the king what they had seen. They told him, we saw Daniel praying to his God in his window. You must punish him since he wasn't praying to you. Now the king, he didn't want to punish Daniel because he really, really liked him. But the angry men, angry men said that you, you have to punish Daniel. That's what your new rule says. You have to do it. So Daniel was taken to the big cave where they keep the hungry lions at, and he was thrown in there for the night. And the king did not sleep good. He worried all night about what he had done to Daniel. He was afraid that those hungry lions, they'd eat him and they'd hurt him. And that's something that he really didn't want to have happen. While Daniel was there, you'd know he probably prayed to his God to help him. So the king was just hoping that his God would take care of him. So the very next morning, the king got up and ran right down to the cave and yelled, Daniel! Daniel! Are you still there? Something crazy happened. He heard Daniel's voice. He said, King, God took care of me. I am safe. No harm has come to me while I've been in here. God has sent an angel to shut their mouth so I wouldn't be harmed. As soon as the king had heard that, he ordered the guards to open up the door and get Daniel out of there as soon as they could. As Daniel came out of the cave, the king knew that God had helped him keep him safe, and that's something that he could never do for anybody. Right then and there, he made a new law, saying that everyone was to pray and love God only in all the lands. Daniel loved God and prayed to him every day, and we can pray to him every day too. We can tell God we love him, and we can ask him for our help. And he'll always be there to help us through our life. So, that's all I had for today, so we'll see you guys on Sunday.